In this video, I'm going to explain how to complete the project assignments. So as you see here, you have two links here, um, project one and project two. These are direct links to your book, again, as you know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the link and I'll explain how this works. Once you're in Cengage, and I believe mine's already. Once you're in Cengage, uh, you'll see that you have a maximum number of submissions or two. So you have two times that you can submit a file and it'll produce one grade. Click the start button and you're presented with two items here. You have an instruction file and you have a starter Excel spreadsheet, right? So read the instructions here. It says download the instructions and start file. Also download a support file if available. You have uh, two submission attempts total. This is my first. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is click on the instructions. Okay, so that was downloaded. It's been placed in my downloads folder. The second thing I'm going to do is click on this Excel spreadsheet. So the instructions are going to be step-by-step -step instructions on how to perform certain tasks in this start file. So click on the start file and notice that that's been downloaded as well. Click the continue button. All right, so go ahead and read through this again. Click the back button if needed. After you complete and save the project, confirm that the file name matches the expected name. So this is what it wants it to be named. Rename the file if necessary. Click upload and select your completed project file, right? So you can just click and drag or you can attach it. All right, now, I'm going to open the instructions first. And so those are in a Word document. That's fine. Go back to where we were. Close that. Uh, and I'm going to click on my spreadsheet file. Okay. And when you click on your spreadsheet file, the first thing I want you to do is notice the name. Right? So this is the name it's going to want when you're done. Underscore two. Uh, this is the name it is as you open it. Underscore one. So you first should do a save as to change the name. Make sure you do that first so you don't forget. Also notice that by default, it put my name in there. So it should have your name here, right? So I'm going to open this up. Click enable editing. When it downloads from the internet, it's going to um, lock the files first. So click enable editing. Go to file and click save as. Navigate to where you want to save these documents, and I'm going to put them in my Excel folder, right? And right here, you must change the name that wanted an underscore two at the end. Click Save, and it looks like I already did this one, but just save it and take a look at what you have available to you. Uh, first thing is it puts your name here. And you have two tabs down on the bottom. First one is for documentation. The second one says current accounts. Click on current accounts. And notice that it's already started you off. There's already data in here. Now, um, you may want to put your instructions side by side with your spreadsheet so you can just read and perform on the side. So I'll show you how to do that. Click up here uh, in the top bar. Right, and just drag all the way to one side and you'll get a little flash. Notice that little flash that just happened and let go. Right, so this takes and splits your screen. And now it says choose which window you want on this side. So I'm going to choose the Excel spreadsheet. And now I've got them side by side. So it's easier to perform all the tasks it gonna, it's going to tell me. So um, here it gives you some basic instructions. Open the file right? And then save the file underscore two, which is what we just did. Uh, okay. And here are your steps. So now start working on your steps. So it explains the first step uh, and it says, go to the current accounts worksheet, cut the worksheet subtitle from cell E2 and paste it in cell A2. So the first thing is navigate to cell E2. So that's right here. It says current accounts uh, and cut and paste it into A2. So cut and then come over to A2. And I know I'm in A2 because it says so here, but also I can see that it's highlighted 
and paste. Okay, so that was your first step. That's basically how the, all, all the other ones are going to work. When you're all done, save, right? Up here is save, okay? And it says that it's been saved. Go back to um, your send gauge and click here. Navigate to where you saved your file. So I went to documents and trip. Right, I went in my Excel folder, and I know it's this one right here. I'm going to look and see what time, right? Click open, and it put it there, right? So click submit, and it'll tell you immediately what your grade is. Mine's going to be bad, right? I only completed step one. So view report. And here's my report, right? So it tells me I didn't perform any of these tasks, but I got this one right. Okay, so I got nine points on that. So this is what you can do. On the first submission, view your report and check and see what you got wrong. If you got something wrong, you can go in, fix it, and resubmit, right? You have two attempts that you can submit. Uh, if you have any questions on how that works or you're having any trouble with that, just email me and I can help you out. To resubmit, you're going to have to start the assignment again. So I'm just I'll take you through the process, right? You'll be back in Blackboard. Click on the link again. It's going to launch the assignment again. Uh, click Start again. Okay, and here it tells you that you have one submission left. So go ahead and finish what you were working on or make your adjustments back in your spreadsheet. Continue working on that, right? You should still have that open. Uh, and if you have your Word document with your steps open, once you're done, then you would submit again. Go through the whole process, okay?